Okay, everybody, we're going to do factoring uh, review question 1F. Okay, uh, here's another question where it's starting to get a little bit more complicated because of the binomials that are showing up in there. Now, this gets a little bit harder to see once it starts to look like this. So what we need to do here is we need to, we need to see this in the, in the two different levels of factoring that we got going on here, okay? So there are, there are again, like I said, there's two different levels here. Um, I've got this expression here, I've got this expression here. Now, I don't know what x is. That's, that's the whole point of this. It's an expression, x can be anything. So because I don't know what x is, I don't know what x minus five is. So maybe what I'll do here is I'm just gonna call a x minus five. I'm just, I just wanna simplify this expression. As soon as you, you have these brackets inside these questions, it, it, it suggests a, a two levels to this. Now, I don't know what, what x minus five is, but I also don't know what three x minus four is. However, I do know that whatever three x minus four is, it's not the same as x minus five. Okay, those are two different expressions. So this time I'm going to just choose a different variable and I'm going to let that equal 3x minus 4. So I'm going to rename these things and when I do that, this becomes a squared minus b squared. I look at that and I can say, ah, uh-huh, now I get it. What I'm seeing here is a difference of two squares, okay? So that's, that is the first level of factoring that we get in this problem here. And then this becomes a minus b a plus b. We write those out as the binomial conjugates that they are. So now I've I factored the first level uh, in this problem here. However, I can't leave it like that because a and b are not part of the original expression. I just use those to make it a little bit easier on myself. So now what I got to do is I got to go back in there and make a x minus 5 and notice I put that in brackets and it's very important that you do that. Uh, if, you, if you don't put it in brackets, you run the risk of, of making a, a sign error. Minus, in brackets, b is 3x minus 4. So right there, that's that first, that first factor there, a minus b. My second one here, in brackets, is going to be x minus 5 plus, and then in brackets, 3x minus 4. Now, I might be running, nope, I got room there. There we go. Kind of fills the screen there. Now, still not done. Still not done because when, when you take a look, for example, at that first expression there, inside that, that kind of large set of brackets here, I've got two binomials that have got like terms. So what I'm going to do here is just, just watch this. I'm going to now combine them. They aren't, these two right here, this x minus 5, this 3x minus 4, they are not being multiplied together. They're being subtracted. So I can drop the brackets now as long as I distribute the negative through. So it's going to become x minus 3x. Well, that's negative 2x. Negative 5 minus negative 4. Okay, negative 5 minus negative 4 is like negative 5 plus 4. That'll be minus 1. Over here, I do a similar sort of thing, except this time it's addition, so it's a little bit easier. Then I don't need to worry about signs changing here on me. So this is going to be x plus 3x. Okay, 4x. And then negative 5 plus negative 4, which will be negative 9. Okay? And there we go. That's the answer in factored form. Now, you may see, if this was, for example, in a multiple choice question here, you may see them go one step further uh, because if you look in that first uh, binomial factor, there's a, a common negative to both of those. So you might see them do this. Take the negative out. Uh, actually, I don't know. Well, I'll put, I'll put a negative one there. Uh, negative 1 and make that 2x plus 1 times 4x minus 9. You may see them go uh, and just take it that one step further. 